That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Ryan O'Halloran. Jason David Frank. Humberto Ramos. Please do not change channel. Show. I'm GW Pomisher. Thank you so much for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, go down and hit subscribe for us. Come back over and over again. See some fantastic creators that we have here in the chair. We are at the Bay Area Renaissance Festival right, in day. Tampa well, Bay. And we are here right now hanging with Liam Selvi, That's the right. harmless juggler. That's Liam, thanks right. for hanging with us. Thank you so much for having me. All right. So, uh, you juggle. That's true. Uh, sometimes That's it. We're done. Yeah. He juggles. The end. The end. Yeah. That's the story. I like to tell people uh, throwing things is my passion. Catching them is merely a hobby. So <laughs> what more do you need to know? He likes to throw stuff. Yeah. Don't we all? And he can catch his, though. Most of the time. Most yeah. of the time. Let's not get... Now, not going yeah. to brag too much. No, no, no. But I, you know, I give myself 3 out of 10 for juggling and 4 out of 10 for jokes. I really don't want to oversell what I do, so let's just say it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's okay, you know? He does a fine job. A fine job. It says the harmless juggler. That's right. My name is Harmless. I do I, the danger I, juggling. I want to... This yep. is... There is nothing right, harmless no. about juggling... These are actual military surplus machetes that um, the handles have been removed and new wooden handles put on. Normally on a juggling knife, you get about this much handle uh -huh. and about this much blade. Okay. So for these knives, that means the area that I can catch is only about the size of my hand, which make these way more dangerous to juggle. Not only that, the spin point is back here, which means there's more blade coming toward me than handle. See, yeah, see. Uh, that, that's, that, that, uh, that was, I did uh -huh. that with a bayonet once 25 Ooh. years ago. What, were you holding the bayonet or did somebody else hit you with it? No, no, I was holding the bayonet. That's right. that's I, a... I, was, I like to tell the story that you know, I stopped them coming at me, but no. I was, yeah. I, I was thought I was cool. I would tell people that other story, too. That sounds yeah, kind of embarrassing. It sounds embarrassing. Yeah, it is. You should, see what the, you should have seen my face when the medic looked at me. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so, okay. You, had, harmless juggler... Yeah. Okay. Um, but you have a, a, a stage name. That's true. Well, my name is Harmless T. Jesterson. Harmless of the Nutra Frog Kingdom. Yeah. Harmless T. Jesterson. Jesterson. Okay. My dad was Harmless T. Jester. So my father actually was a juggler, comedian, um, fire eater, unicyclist. I was, was, was going to ask how you got into this, but apparently this is, this is a family business. All my life. Uh, All when I life. was two years old, I interrupted my dad's juggling show by walking on stage, toddling on stage, taking a bow, and walking off stage. I hope he made a lot of tips that show. I can't say for certain. I don't know if he did, but you did. That's yeah. how you I learned how to you. juggle by the time I was six years old. I've been juggling you, you, longer you juggle, than I can remember. You could juggle at six? It took me 30 minutes to learn how to juggle at six years old. That's correct. At, at six, I could barely walk. Well, it, it, we all need to practice something, right? Yeah. Yeah. You could juggle. I could. I, I started with uh, basically start? three ball juggling. Three ball, by okay. the time I was 11, I was riding a six foot tall unicycle. I was passing torches with my dad, six torches between two people. Um, I, I really wow. grew up into this. I was on stage with my dad starting from the time I was about eight years old. At the time, mm -hmm. he was harmless tea jester and I was useless tea jester. Ah. When he retired and gave uh, his juggling show that he'd been working on for 37 years at that point. He gave wow. the show to me when he retired. He said, it's yours, do whatever you want. And I said, okay, can I be harmless now? And he said, no, you can't. I'm harmless T. Jester. And I said, okay, well, how about like harmless T. Jesterson in the, in the Nordic tradition? And there he was go. like, perfect. That's awesome. Because I like the branding of it. And That's I think fantastic. it works well for a danger-themed juggling show. It does. Yeah. It does. And that is really cool. So now... Um, You've been doing it all since you were this tall. Yep. Like this tall, because you were walking. Very, very small. It's wherever the ground is. He started out, he, 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 he took his first steps to the roaring sound of applause. It's true. Nice. Probably the first words I ever 
learned were the words to my dad's juggling show because he, I would go with him and travel and he would do it every week and I that have, same string of words. We have a seven-year-old that comes out and does the show with us and he does cosplay when, when, he, when I'm in here. Uh -huh. And when I'm in here warming up yeah. and I'm getting my mics ready and everything, he comes and he stands over there in the corner and he mouths all the words Oh, that's the show. really cute. Because he has my whole opening memorized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he asked me to do a, uh, a, a YouTube video for him, for his uh -huh. own page. And I was doing it, and that's how he started it. He just said, hello, World Wide Web, and he just went because that's, they learn from watching. Yep. That's, it's awesome. And so from this tall, what is the most unusual thing you've ever juggled? Ooh, great question. Um, well, the current finale of my show here at the Bay Area Renaissance uh -huh. Festival. Spoiler alert, guys. Um, but I juggle a uh, double-bladed axe. I a uh, circular saw blade that's been attached to the end of a stick, and a chainsaw. Chainsaw. Yeah, it's like a chainsaw, but no motor or housing. It's just the blade with the chain on it on okay, a handle. Okay, okay. You know, because it's chain. the Renaissance, we don't have chainsaws, guys. It's a chainsaw. But you have it's chainsaw handles, sure. come on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Get, get with get the with time. The, it's, Besides, it's Time Traveler's Weekend, I think we're going to be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought Doctor Who's out here, so. Yeah. And All at any other venue, um, the, uh, the axe and the chainsaw actually both light on fire. On fire. That's correct. But the, here, there's um, there's some fire marshal issues uh, that are probably really boring to get into. Was so, that one guy that one time? Exactly. Now nobody See? can do it. That's okay? basically the entire story. That, that's it. Okay. So, how learning to juggle, you started juggling with balls. Yeah. Okay. Nice and safe. Yeah. Okay. And then you work your way up, and you work your way up. How do you practice juggling knives? Do you juggle knives? Is that that? Yeah, I juggle knives, uh, sickles. You know, all, anything I can pick up with one hand and throw, I can juggle. Um, I, it comes very naturally to me. I have a natural dexterity. So, uh, mostly, if it's something that I definitely have to catch the correct end of, I will um, take it in my hand and I'll, and I'll feel it and I'll throw it just one time like this. Just to see if you Just can... to see how it moves through the air, uh, where the handle wants to go, whether it's spinning from the tip like a hammer does, yep, whether yep. it's spinning closer to the handle. So where's the center of gravity, yeah. Uh, the center of gravity in these, like I said, it's about a third of the way up from the okay, handle. So you, and then you most, made these uh, from military surplus? My were, dad made these da knives. Wow. Yeah, these are my dad's actual juggling knives. And the reason he doesn't so These are use, knives that have been being, these have been being performed with for... Oh man, I would say 20 years easy. 20 years. Easily 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. That, that's amazing. And the reason he liked to use these uh -huh. was because normal juggling knives are made out of a, a more solid steel. They're okay. made for juggling, okay. which means that when you bang them together, they go clunk, clunk. These actually have a... Isn't that amazing? That sounds dangerous. I love that sound. That's, so that's... before I do the knives, I... We're going to max wow. out the mics there. Great. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so... Now, you, you do comedy. You, well, you have, you I like to act. think so. You, you have an act sure. that surrounds the juggling. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Where did you draw your inspiration for creating that act? Well, like I said, my dad gave me his stuff? juggling show. Okay. And then I, so I took that as uh, my starter kit, basically. So okay. I had um, a rough script to, to go to that I knew by heart. And when I first started out, I was basically doing my dad's show beat for beat. Okay. Now, as I started to understand the differences between myself and my dad in terms of performance, in terms of energy, in terms of, let's face it, age. You know, he was 55 years old when he stopped performing, so there were a lot of stuff he wasn't doing anymore. Yep. When I started to notice those things and realize what was working and what wasn't, I started changing it more and more and more. And I would say it's an ongoing project for me. That's um, fantastic. Most shows are 85% scripted and 15% improv based on what the audience is giving me, what what the day's like, whether it's hot or cold, whether I forgot props or not off stage, which <laughs> happens to all of us. If he so. forgets stuff, he's going to juggle other stuff. That's true. I actually, um, I bring enough props on stage to do about 80 minutes of show. I have a about 35, 40 minute slot here to perform, so I leave a lot of stuff out, and I try to do at least one different trick in the middle of my show every single show of the day. So if somebody comes back so and watches it. you insert new stuff through the day yeah. and take some stuff out. So people um, can come in and go, oh, you, he didn't do that last when time. You're not, really when you're cool. not on stage, are you performing in the lanes? Or are, you, or are you just kind of No, I'm around? catching my breath mostly. I don't, <laughs> I don't blame him. You, yeah. need a few, you need a few minutes, right? 
Yeah, so sure. You're gonna. You're here. Are you the whole the whole run? I'm the here Bay for Area? the entire run of the yeah. Bay Area okay. Renaissance Festival here in Tampa. Fantastic. Where are you headed from here? Um, I have one weekend off, and then I'll be at the Renaissance Festival of Central Florida, which will be in Orlando. Wow. Uh, I'm not. The, the exact address of the venue escapes me uh, at the moment. It's not time yet. We have a team. Oh, the good. Cameras. Yeah, have them research that. They are awesome cyber stalkers. Good. And, and then um, just for, for yeah. people who might be watching us elsewhere in the country, Absolutely. I'm going to do uh, one weekend in Missouri, Missouri in late April. I'm going to be doing a month and a half in upstate New York at the Sterling Renaissance Festival in uh, wow. July, August. I'm going to be at the Michigan Renaissance Festival, August, September. So it's going to be a full year for me. You're on the road the whole time. All the time. Oh, man, that is fantastic. Yeah. Um, we have to wrap it up. Okay. But can wait, we do, wait. No, no, wait. No, wait. We do this. Do it, do it, do it, <laughs> okay, you go first, then I'll go. Okay, no, no, I'm going to go first? Yeah. Okay, great. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. I thought I would give you a treat, okay? This is going to be a special thing for okay, you. Okay. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Shh, don't tell anybody. To this juggle is... something dangerous, okay? Okay. So if you could for me, uh, this is going to sound weird, but remember, this is a PG sort of thing, so don't make it weird. Sure. But I'm going to have you kneel in front of me, both knees, okay? Easy, boy. Uh, 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 this, okay. Right here. I'm, I'm going to just gonna, this I'm out of the do way. this. Okay. I'm going to put this back here. All right, so I'm going to kneel. Yeah, you're going to kneel right here. Kneel. We're going to face camera one. We're going to camera two. Camera two? Uh, Which one are we doing? We're going to face over here. We're, camera we're two. We're going to face right over here. So you're going to kneel in front of me right, facing yeah, right. the camera. No, no, no not face, facing face. me. Oh, my. I can't see, even see See, you made it knives. weird. I knew I, he would make it weird. I can't even see the knives. That's okay. He was ready for anything, though. Oh, so. my Lord. All right, here we go. This. Okay. So lean back. Le lean back. Is this, uh, we have a good shot here? Oh, my Lord. Should we move back a little bit? We can move back a little bit. Yep, we, we can move, move back. back here. Go ahead and scoot back about a foot and a half. Okay, we're going to go back a little bit. Yeah, we got room. All right, so this is actually an oh. inside view of dangerous juggling. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I got it. All right, I'm, here we go. This so wow. uh, don't move your arms, okay? Don't stick out your tongue. Don't headbang. Basically, don't stick out anything you don't want to lose. All right, here we go. And that's what it looks like. That's what, wow. Um... See, now that, you know what it's like to be me just a little bit. I know what it's like. Wow. Thank okay. you so much that for doing that. Awesome. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Um, guys, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to wrap it up by um, saying goodbye. 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 Bye. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, we're down here. We're going to find All it. Right. We're going to say thank you to thank Some you Unique know. Magazine, Famous Faces and Funnies, mm -hmm. Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, Krypton Radio. Mm -hmm. Space Coast Comics. And don't forget at, Asylum Convention and Entertainment Services. That's right. Those guys, hey. don't forget about those. And our great new friends here at the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. Right. Remember, everybody, subscribe. Hey. Log on. Tune in. See who we're hanging with next.